Today we're going to talk about um, needles. Okay, so yesterday we talked about applique and I got my applique sewn on. You can see kind of around the, I used the zigzag stitch to go all the way around it. Just so when it washes, it won't come off. It also adds a, a final touch, you know, makes it look more professional. Um, so today we're putting on the sleeves and the neckline and putting in the side seams. Um, so I wanted to talk to you today about sewing on knits. Okay, a lot of people are terrified of sewing on knits. They'll only sew on woven cotton fabrics. They don't even like specialty fabrics, which I get it. I, I remember being scared of those things too. But once you start with knits, you'll never go back. Um, you, it's so easy. It really is. Um, so two things. You can sew knits without having a serger or an overlock machine or anything special. I have my Bernina. That's it. I don't have a serger. I don't have a cool overlock. I don't have anything. Okay. This over here, this is my embroidery machine. So, um, that's cool, but, um, I don't, and I've been sewing for 15 years, maybe longer. Um, and I've sewn with knits for as long as my son has been even longer. So, and he will be eight in March. So knits are not hard. Hey, um, if you're brand, brand spanking new to knits, get a um a jersey stretch needle so let me see if i have one yeah, right here so this is what i i get um it's a jersey ballpoint needle it's for your stretch fabrics for your knit fabrics okay um if you're just gonna use a zigzag stitch which you can so i actually did i sewed on the fronts of my sleeve and I did it in red so you can see and all I did was a zigzag stitch from top to bottom of my sleeve my sleeve the front seam of my sleeve hey okay? it stretches you don't want to do a straight stitch it's not going to stretch but it's nice and stretchy now you can kind of see if you stretched it a lot you'd be able to see that stitch okay on the front side but for the most part nobody even knows you don't have a serger. Nobody. Hey, and it looks nice. Pressing always helps your stitches. So I was always taught from my teachers to press my seam um, so that the threads actually kind of fused with your fabric, if you will. And that helps so you won't see the stitching so much. Okay. Now the other thing that you can do is you can use a double needle or twin needle. So there's lots of different sizes of twin needles. This one's kind of wide. Um, and I don't always like, here, let's put them kind of next to each other. You can see, see how much wider this one is than this one. I don't always like the wide needle. Um, especially when it, I'm doing a neckline. Sometimes I want the needles closer together. It's really your preference. Um, so, but you can use a twin needle for really anything, but I typically use that, the twin needle for my knits. Now, some people hate twin needles and they never work for them. A lot of that has to do with your tension. In fact, I just made some um, pajamas for my kids that the tension was off. And so I can see the stitching and it's coming apart. And I was like, oh, I should have switched my needle. A lot of times your tension problems when your threads on your, uh, fabric are coming off a lot of that has to do with um, the needle not having been changed and it's been dinged and it's bent and the tip of it maybe part of it came off there's there's lots of things so if my tension is off ever I change my needle no matter what and technically you're supposed to change your needle for every project but nobody does that so um, that's always a good place to start so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the back of my um, nightgown and I will link up in the description where you can get the free pattern so if you haven't joined our Facebook book group I will link that so you can go and grab that pattern um, so I'm going to line up my back um, armhole with my front armhole I guess it's my back armhole with my sleeve back armhole 
yeah, that's really it. Now I have my double needle in here. Let me show you. Okay, here's my double needle. I have two different color threads. I don't recommend that. In fact, I don't want you using contrasting threads. I want you to use the same color thread and one that matches. But I'm doing that simply so you can kind of see what the double needle does. And even my bobbin thread is yellow. Bad choices. But there you have it. So I'm put you back over here. I'm going to sew this. And I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know what are my little scissors. My four-year-old likes to come in here and she is kind of destructive. Okay, so you can see, can you see that? Two stitches and then on the back side, there's your zigzag, okay? And there's your seam. So really, if you're looking at your sleeve here, this side here is the zigzag, and this side over here is the double needle, and you can't tell a whole lot of difference unless you super stretch them. Okay, a lot of times I will sew my whole project with a double needle just so I don't have to change my needle um, because I'm kind of lazy sometimes. And when I'm doing hems, am I hemming the sleeve or hemming the bottom or putting my neckline on, my neckband? Um, I don't like to change my needle. I just don't. But you can. You can do a zigzag, all your inside stitching, and then switch your needle and put a double needle in and do a double needle for all your exterior stitching just to make give it that professional finish. So, simple as that. Okay? I'm going to do my other sleeve connect my back, and I'm gonna do the same thing on, um, I'm gonna use the, my double needle on my neckline. And then I'm done. So if you wanna join this sew along, if you're just starting out, um, go ahead and um, click the link for our Facebook group. Come to our Facebook group, grab the pattern, get going. There's a couple of other videos you can watch to kind of help you along the way. And then make sure you share because we are gonna have a giveaway um, and it's going to be awesome. So uh, I can't wait to see what you make.